I'll take this. That's this mine. Is. No, it's That's not. Mine. You're not taking my shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I paid for all this crap. I paid for those. What the hell? Most toxic thing I've ever done because I miss toxic in this group is um, basically put my shit in this man's chili and I watched him eat it. You know why? Because why the fuck would you ever cheat on me? I literally took a shit and put it inside of the chili. He ate that shit, baby, and then he threw up after. I'm sure he tasted it. Come on now. What type? What type of time is she on with, my, with whoever he is, with anybody? Like you don't, you don't. That's he should be able to press charges or some shit like that. You basically poisoned that boy. Like who shit in the chip? Hey, be careful who you messing with. Be careful. Can you find somebody that's worth the fuck out here in the bar and clubs? No. Why not? Because everybody's looking for, like, someone to fuck, you know? I'm not looking for that. I'm just looking for someone. I just want to talk to somebody, but I'm out here because I got my heart broken, so that's it. How did you get your heart broken, if you don't mind me asking? I was doing too much. Like what? I overplayed my part. I was doing stuff for somebody that didn't deserve it, that didn't appreciate it, and they ghosted me, so. I was in a... No. Ain't, ain't no way. Ain't no way, uh... Somebody just gonna leave you alone. So you telling me you did? You was doing everything right, and they ghosted you. Is that what you telling me? Nah, you was doing too much in another way. You was out here being too promiscuous, doing too much. Probably still texting your ex, all type of stuff. I don't know the whole backstory, but I'm pretty sure she ain't innocent in that case. She ain't innocent. Tony, Rowezy. Where y'all from? Atlanta. Seattle. Hey, what y'all doing out here today? What you shopping? Yeah. Taking my girl out. Oh, this is a girl, y'all a couple? Yeah, just trying to spoil her. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> what? She not spoiled already? Like, how long y'all been in? About two years now. What, two years? Yeah, two years. How, how the relationship been? Very good. I've been very quite happy with her. Yeah, how the relationship been for you? He's very sweet. I'm enjoying my time. What well, make him so, like, sweet? Like, because he spoil you, like, take you shopping and stuff? Or? No, it's the little things, you know? He always asks if I'm hungry, if I need any assistance, rides. He's there to cook at night. He he does a lot. So he's basically a sweetheart, basically. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He is. He's a lot of cute gestures. He's sweet. Right, so you trust him? Yeah, I trust him. You trust her? All the time. All the time? Give me a good reason why you trust him. If good, she still comes home every night when we get, she goes out. Right, right, right. Give me a good reason why you trust him. Uh, he's giving me no reason not to trust him. So y'all basically in love, or it's not at, like, the love stage yet? Like, y'all in love? I would say it's, it's getting there. Y'all a cute couple, though. Y'all a cute couple. I, you know, I had to stop y'all. Y'all was walking by. Y'all a cute couple. Fact so, let me ask you a question. Uh, have y'all ever seen my videos before? That's cool. So basically, I asked y'all to do an interview, but really, today, I want to do a loyalty test with y'all. What do you mean? So basically, how I do my loyalty test, I, you know, I find couples, like, walking by, stop them randomly, and ask them to, like, switch phones for, like, a minute and see, like, if the other person texting somebody else or something like that. Uh, you cool with that? If you're not cool with it, we don't have to do it. Are you cool with it? I'm fine with it. You got nothing to hide? Nothing to hide, right? I'm right. sure he is. I mean, I got nothing I'm to sure hide. I'm sure he is. <laughs> but but what, what's the but? There's no but. Okay, so you, you, we could switch phones for a minute and go through your phone and see what. Right now? Yeah, like right now, like right on the spot. Like that's what we have the camera. Like he's ready to give the phone up. <laughs> Wait, what you hiding? What you hiding? I, I'm not hiding anything. It look like you hiding something. All right, he's gonna look through it. Again. Yeah, he's gonna. No, I'm not take. I'm not gonna look through it. He's gonna take the phone and he's gonna go through it because we we usually do it at the same time. But you look you a little hesitant, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with you. We're going to have, you know, him take your phone and go through it for a minute and see if you texting anybody else or if you're, you're loyal. You're going to go first? Yeah, he's going to go first. Give him your phone real quick. <laughs> All right, babe, what's your name? Save us in her phone. Uh, it's supposed to be Bay. It's like a reward. <laughs> All right, so let go right here. Let go right here. That's, that's you, babe. Who is daddy? That's your dad? Who's daddy? Yeah, that's my dad. That's your dad? Uh, go, go to the messages. Go to the messages where it say daddy. Okay. That's not your dad. Wait, what, what, you seen your dad last night at the club? Yeah, he was out there. Okay, all right. Do you mind if we call your dad real quick? God, he's probably working right now. Wait, you know she was at the club with her dad last night? She said she was going to the club with her friends.
Yeah, I did, and my dad just showed up. Dad goes clubbing? I I don't know. He I think we should call him. You think? You, you think? You mind if we club? You, you talk to my dad all the time. Yeah, but he's not. Doesn't go clubbing. The only clubbing he goes is golfing. He was there. I think we should call him. You, you want to call him? All right. Go ahead. Go ahead and call, call, call Open the phone again. It's locked. Open it. We're going to call your dad. Just call to make sure him. it's your dad. You know? Like, he's nothing ain't crazy. He's not going to answer. He, he's no. busy all he's, the time. We're going to try. Can we still try? He's going to try. All right. Give him the phone real quick. Give him the phone real quick. All right. Put it on, put it on speaker. Oh, oh, oh. Who is this? Hey, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? I am the boyfriend. Who are you? You called the wrong number, probably. No, that's the one that said daddy. It said daddy. Oh, whoa, okay, okay. So. Oh, you must be the TV again. Money from. Excuse me. Oh, that's it. That's it. No, 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 that's it. I'm done. I'm all, you know what? I'll take this. That's mine. That's mine. Repo all that shit, dog. Repo all that shit, dog. I paid for those. What the hell? It's my You know what? I'm done. Justin. Nah. Hey. Hey, but I ain't gonna lie. I, I knew what the situation was. Just looking at them, I ain't, I ain't saying he, she was out of his league or, or whatever, or he didn't deserve it. I just, I just could tell by the body language. You feel me? Like she wasn't the conversation. She wasn't feeling, bro. He was, he was an ATM, and that's what she used him. That's what she used him for. Man. He fell for the old okie doke for two years. Damn, my boy. Damn. Hey, why would he do that anyway? Why would you snitch? on her like come on be real bro you just messed up a good situation dude taking care of all the bills and what you say y'all spending his money why would you stop that goofy like man niggas just be want to be just want to just can't hold water can't they can't hold water in their mouth it's crazy so i watched that video and all i got from it is a woman just need to stay in a woman's place i think at this point man it's just getting out of hand with all these women keep trying to take on these manly traits and roles and then get mad when they get the backlash like a man. At the end of the day, all that brother did was speak his truth like any real man would do. He didn't disrespect nobody. He didn't violate nobody. He just said what he didn't like. Then once one female says something negative, they all follow behind. I hate that monkey see monkey do ass shit with you females. That's how y'all miss out on y'all blessings. Then on top of that, he only responded negatively when they said something negative. Then they tried to flip it on him. And that's what's wrong with y'all females. And that's why y'all all gonna be crabs in a fucking barrel most of y'all life. The last girl I respect way too much. She stayed quiet. She stayed poised. She didn't let them other pains get to her. And she got what she wanted. And he got what he wanted. So I was happy for him in the end anyway. Miserable ass. I, I seen that uh, Balloon Pop episode. And I ain't gonna lie. That's how I felt. I felt like, bro, I ain't really do nothing too extra. Like, they told him that they he wasn't they type, and then he said, neither are you my type. But once he said that, they felt some type of way. Like, you just told this man he wasn't your type, so why you can't, why you can't take the same, the, same, the same criticism right back? Like, it's crazy. And shit, like, it was funny to watch. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all ain't never seen that episode, make sure y'all go check it out, man. That shit was hilarious. He was talking about old girl said hair on her arms. And some dude, she probably did have hair on her. I ain't gonna lie. It was just one chick. I ain't gonna lie. It was just one chick I went to high school with. Her name was Beatrice. I'm, I'm sorry for saying her name, but I had to say her name. Her name Beatrice, bro. Her shit. She used to have a crush on me too, bro. Like, she was cute and all that. Don't get me wrong, but it was just where wolf. She was Latino too, so you already know how that go. But, you know, no no disrespect to my Latino crowd, but y'all know how y'all be. Y'all know how y'all be. But uh, her shit was hairy. Like, and I just couldn't, I couldn't get past that. I couldn't, I couldn't get past the hairy arms, but... Like I said, he ain't, he ain't do too much, man. Go make sure y'all go check out that video, man. If y'all ain't seen it already, though, man. Contact me. Um, How old am I? Old enough. How old are you? I just don't feel my age, huh? 25. Old enough. For what? Type shit. Like dick. Half dick. The usual. The usual? So why did you? Hey, 
my son is 12 years old. I hope he don't come up. I it's gonna be hard for my boy growing up. I know it is. Um, it's not that like you're ugly or nothing. I just am not attracted, honestly. For sure. Like you, you look good though. Like the suit you put that on. Appreciate it. But just not for me. For sure. Okay. And is there anything specific that makes him not for you? I don't want to be like. It's gonna sound ruthless, like. Okay, like completely respectfully, like you just, I, I'm a goofy person, but you just look a little bit too goofy for me. <laughs> See, that's why I don't want to say shit. Okay. No, I understand. I get it. Nate. She up there with her ex-boyfriend shirt on. Talking about somebody look goofy. That big ass shirt. She already flat chested. That shirt ain't giving her no justice. And had to, I, hey. I, I'm gonna leave it alone. The age, where you from? Oh, me? Yeah. I'm Shelly. A lady never tells her age, but I will say I'm 39, but I don't look your typical 39, so I'm proud of that. Well, Shelly. Yes. You look 39. It's okay, though. <laughs> What's your name, baby? What's your name? Hey, Shelly. You definitely looked at 39, my baby. You looked at damn near 45. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, she was confident in her. In her. I don't even look at you. I don't even. Fuck. Nah, you look it, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you look it. She was too confident, though. I like it in you. I like that confidence. But it ain't gonna get you that far. I see. You look good. Thank you so much. What you doing? I'm going to the B&B right now. Oh, yeah. Hey, Shelly. 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 Y'all kiss right now, y'all together. Y'all bullshit. Then y'all ain't girlfriend then. Who is she lying? So what's that? If that's your girlfriend, then y'all be kissing and shit. Oh, that is so weird. I'm just trying to confirm that shit. so funny. I'm fine. And now I know. What? Hey, she was just ready to go to the Airbnb. How far? And this and that. But soon as soon as her friend come up and he say kiss. Cause he wanted both of them. She felt some type of way, like, "Oh, you checking on my friend?" So no, it's so weird. Are you, are you, you so wanna be our sex? You're so sexual, so right up front. Nah, nah, he was duh. That's what he told you from the beginning. You wanna go to the Airbnb? You was ready then. That's crazy. That's crazy. It is a scent for people that have been watching this this word. What is a scent? Is the male version of a pick me. Um, a simp is uh, a simp is a man who over exaggerates the female emotion for his own personal benefit. He it's a panderer in another oh, sense. Like, um, all women are beautiful and deserves uh, oh. thousands of dollars and <laughs> endless head for the rest of their life. That's a that's a simp. Or, I love that. I, I can't. No, that's, that's a simp. I, that's a simp. <laughs> me personally is uh, to be for a a man in liquid form. You will go with any flow to make sure mm -hmm. that you're peace into a woman. We got come on now. So if she says, I like a man who pays all the rent, you need to stop dreaming like that, but you're gonna do that. Hey, he ain't wrong. This it's a lot of simps out here that that basically just go with the flow and they do be pandering, bro. I be seeing so much pandering going on on uh, Facebook, bro. Like I don't, I think the dudes just be doing it just for to get some little cheeks, because that's <coughs> Because nine times out of ten, that's all they're getting is the attention from the female. Females be all on their post. Oh, you're so right. Finally, your man stepping up and saying the right thing. Bitch, he is finessing you. <laughs> I need you to know that. he's not. That's not him for real. That's not. He want the, he on he on the same time that, that another man on. He wants them cheeks regardless, bro. Like, regardless of what he's saying, what he's pandering to. He, he see you, he like you, and he wants you. He wants them cheeks, baby. This is unreal. What is going on? Oh, my God. I want to hear it. You guys canceled. You did my co-worker. I need you to cancel. I didn't tell you. You knew I'd be mad, so you didn't tell me. Are you serious right now? Where are the people that you said were going to be they here? They canceled on me. She texted me, told me she could come last minute, so I said, hey, that's fine. You're playing it off like it's not a problem, but you said that you knew I'd be mad. Hey, I just want to let you know that I'm not trying to cause any problems. Too late, bitch. Okay, and we're talking, so why are you coming? <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to let you know so that you, you don't have to feel so bad. Like, nothing's going on. 
Okay, who are you? Uh, we work together. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go home together. I'm, I'm, I'm over this. I'm so over this. Marketing department. That's crazy. Hey, I want to know. Drop it in the comment section. Is it cheating to take the opposite sex out to eat when you're in a relationship? Like, if you, say you got a girlfriend, and ladies, if you, if your boyfriend took another female out to eat, is that cheating? Drop it in the comments. And fellas, vice versa, is that cheating? Let me know. And what? Why is it cheating? Like, like I, I need to know. Like, I need real answers to this shit, cause. I asked it on Facebook. I'm like, what if it's McDonald's? Like, every, everything ain't got to be a date, right? You feel me? Like, what if he at work with his co-worker? And it's lunchtime. We out the bam. They go on lunch at the same time type shit. And they just, so, and he so happened just to pay for her lunch. Is that cheating? Is, I need, I just, I'm D just questions. I ain't saying I did them before. I ain't saying I'm going to do it. I just want to know. In your, in your mind, what do you think? Drop it in the comments, man. It's been a good video, man. Make sure y'all like, share, hit that subscribe button, man. Drop drop comments, hit, hit put some emojis, whatever you want to do. Put, put something down there, though, man. Let me know that y'all in here rocking with your boy. Uh, stay tuned to the next video. I'm out. Stay wavy.